Welcome to our series on Try a Little Kindness. Try a Little Kindness is actually the topic of a song by Glenn Campbell. Glenn Campbell. He wrote a beautiful little piece of song that has been relevant in the years past and continues to be relevant. And he says, if you see your brother standing by the road with a heavy load from the seats he has sown, he said, show a kindness. If you see your sister falling by the way, tell the person, you are going a long way, a wrong way. In these days of mind your business, mind your own, and mind my own, even when people are going wrong, you don't want to, to rock the boat, so you don't tell them, ah, you are going the wrong way. Glyn Campbell says, no. Tell them you are going the wrong way, in a nice way. He said, don't walk down and out without helping a hand. So instead of casting doubt, instead of discouraging people, instead of putting them down, he says, show a little kindness. And that is one of the first commandments of God. He, he, I give you a reading assignment. You know, as teachers, we like to give assignments. And we give assignments here with The chapter on love, the chapter on love, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 is a chapter on love. God himself gave the definition for love. And Psalms 4, verse 4 of 1 Corinthians 13 says, Charity suffered long and is kind. You say you love somebody and you are not kind. That your love get as it be. Plenty <laughs> husband and wife. You say, they love you, love you, love you, but you are, you are not kind. Then something is wrong with your love. When we love, it is total. It shows in kindness. So we'll be taking time to define kindness, to see what kindness is. Glenn Campbell sang, he says, If you see your brother standing by the road with a heavy load, from the city as soon. If you see your sister falling by the way, just stop and say, you are going the wrong way. You've got to show a little kindness. Show a little kindness. Just shine the light for everyone to see. And if you show a little kindness, then you overlook the blindness of narrow-minded people on the narrow-minded streets. Don't walk down and out just like that. Lend a helping hand instead of doubt. And the seeds of kindness that you show every day, we help someone along their way you've got to show a little kindness shine a little kindness just show the light for everyone to see and if you show a little kindness then you overlook the blindness of narrow-minded people on the narrow-minded streets he said if you don't show kindness you are part of the narrow-minded people on narrow-minded streets. If you can help, help. Don't help because you need to say thank you. Or don't help because I've seen people give so that you say when you have a problem, they will give to you. Uh, give so that when you have a, a challenge, people will be there to give. The motive also is very important. Help. Help. Without... A reason to say, oh, I did it for them to do to me. So this morning we are saying, show a little kindness. Link Campbell put it this way, he said, try a little kindness. And First Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 says, love is kind. So we begin to examine the word kindness now. And then you check yourself. I love you, I love you. How did that love be? <laughs> How will be? Uh, trending, I love um, 
a few clips I ran across when it was Valentine time. <laughs> they showed the uh, two ladies talking. And one said, ah, my boyfriend has been trying to pick a fight with me. <laughs> Seriously pick a fight. Because of Valentine doesn't want to take me at me. I refuse to be offended. <laughs> <laughs> so so that Valentine will come and pass, you know, and they won't have to spend money. Say, ah. But love is not like that. All the time you spend. Spending is not in big gifts. A little thing, orange, one apple. Add something. When in those days when my husband was on external duties when it's coming back even if it is a little thing here you keep small and bring to say oh when i was eating this i remember the little little acts like that is what god says and glenn campbell says in his word that we should use to show kindness somebody wants to start a difficult tax encourage them strengthen them I remember when I was pregnant with my first son, I had a very, very big belly. And some of those women that were not kind at all, they were, they were, they, they are beasts, not even human beings. Hey, see your belly? Hey, how can you burn? Hey, how will you burn? Hey. Thank God I was ready in defeat. So I just told them, I said, that's not a problem. The God that put it there will bring it out. But so many have died from fear. From fear. From fear, even the neighbor, the labor world. People will be taunting you. Why? 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 I like the houses. When a woman gives to birth, you see people traveling from far to come and visit. From far. From far. This one will come, this one will come, that one will come, this one will come. I have to ask one of my neighbors. I say, why are they traveling this far? He said, because they consider death like birth, like somebody who has been in the mouth of death and came back. And so they come to rejoice. And if they are having issues even with anybody, at that bad, the thing will go away because you just have to visit and wish them well. Let's emulate good things. Let's emulate good things. Let's walk. Let's not walk down and out without a helping hand. Let's not sow seeds of doubt, discouraging people instead of encouraging them. So many businesses have failed because some people are just there only putting you down, putting you down. Let's not do that. Instead of that, let's show seeds of kindness. You got to show a little kindness. Try a little kindness. Just shine your light for everyone to see. And if you show a little kindness, then you overlook the blindness of narrow-minded people on the narrow streets. If you are not kind, Glenn Campbell says, you are part of the narrow-minded people on those narrow streets. Narrow streets means the ghetto, where it is like dog eat dog. There's, there's everybody striving to make it. So if you are there and you are high and mighty, or you show no kindness to no one, he says you are one of those people on those narrow-minded streets, in the dark alleys that are only out there, most of them to just rob and kill and maim and take possession of that which is not theirs from others. Not everybody in the dark alley that is like that. Some find themselves there by providence, but 90% have become scavengers and they just want to scavenge on human beings. Say, don't be like that. So you can be living in a glass house, you can live in the mountain top, but no feeling. I made a post yesterday, I saw a clip where somebody was narrating how he went into an office and while clearing the cupboard of the last officer, he saw a letter of somebody that had been posting, posting, crying, and asking for help. And the person writing said, from the letter, you can say the person was even crying to post those letters. The drops of tears showed water drops, dried water drops, but no response. The person followed. Check it out. At the end of the day, the person has stopped writing because... He was dying of a, is it a liver disease or so? I could no more write. The person traveled, saw the wife all. In short, so much wickedness out there. Don't be a part of those that are wicked. You've got to show a little kindness. 
Try a little kindness. Just shine the light for everyone to see. Yes. If you show a little kindness, then you will overlook the blindness of narrow-minded people on the narrow-minded streets. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Vasya Band of Love Mistress International. Do check our YouTube account there. you find a lot of messages loaded, loaded, loaded for you. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages, such the scriptures, nation building, when you pray and I pray, ministers of the truth. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so, so very much for being a part of this wonderful, wonderful, life-changing, transforming broadcast. Thank you so, so very much. Are you out there and you don't know Jesus? Sometimes when you don't know Jesus, it is the human nature, the devilish nature that is controlling you. And John 10, 10 says that the thief command not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The heart of the devil in man is not good. The children evangelism ministry, we show it with the pictures of a lion, ferocious, wicked, scavenger. We show it with a dog, serpent. We say this is the nature of this ugly creatures in character. It's what you are if you don't know Jesus and you are behaving like that. And so we are here to say, accept Christ Jesus as personal Lord and Savior. Then his love, the love of God, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. That life will now come to place on you. God bless you. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. God bless you. On Facebook, we've told you our accounts. Like, share. On YouTube, type Edith Atake. Church on the Air, Band of Love Ministries International account to pop up. Like, share. Thank you so very much. God bless you. Thank you.